Are you about to sell your home? Are you going to list it for sale by owner and not use a real estate agent? You can do that, but I want to tell you about a trap that you're probably going to fall into. So if you're thinking about doing that, this is a video that you must watch. It's called the for sale by owner trap. Hi, I'm Jonathan Otero. I'm the owner of J&J Management Group and the owner of We Buy Houses Seminole. I'm a real estate investor and I live local here in Orlando, Florida. I invest in Orange County and Seminole County and I want to tell you about a trap that I see a lot of for sale by owners fall into. Now let's start off with explaining why you're trying to sell your house for sale by owner. There could be a bunch of reasons why but I'm going to jump out on a ledge and say that the number one reason that you're selling your house for sale by owner is simply because you do not want to pay 6% commission to a real estate agent or agents. That's the reason why and that's the number one reason why. Let's face it guys, for sale by owners are usually very, very greedy people. And I say they're greedy, greedy not meaning a bad thing, but the reason they're greedy is because they want to take that commission, that 6% and put it back into their pocket. So they're going to try to sell their house for sale by owners. Here's one of the pitfalls. The majority of sales, the majority of residential sales from last year, 2016, residential real estate was sold through the MLS, which means that there was a real estate agent involved in the transaction. Now, when you're selling it for sale by owner, unless you have a real estate license, which you have to disclose that you do if you're selling your property, you cannot use the MLS to sell your property. You have to put it on Zillow or Realtor.com or any other one of those independent websites for real estate but you cannot use it through the MLS. And the MLS is, as you've seen my other videos, if you have seen my other videos, the number one tool that real estate professionals like myself use when buying and selling real estate. The MLS is critical because it has all the data there. And if the majority of transactions are being done in residential real estate on the MLS, and you're not putting your property on the MLS, then chances are you are not going to sell that property. The majority of for sale by owners that actually sell their home and go through the whole process beginning to end and have to deal with all those contracts and all those real estate showings and the closing and all the document prepara preparation that is needed. The majority of people that go from beginning to end without a real estate agent, the number of people that have sold their home that way, especially last year, is so little, it's insignificant to even discuss the number. It is so little. Um, and so if you're gonna be selling your house and you have that against you, chances of you completing the sale are gonna be slim to none if you're not gonna be using a real estate agent. Now again, I wanna explain to you what that means, what that means to you as a, as a for sale by owner. So let's just say knowing that data, you still decide I don't care what the numbers show. I don't care that the majority of sales are done through the MLS or done through a real estate agent. I'm still going to sell this property myself because I do not want to pay that commission. I understand it hurts to pay that commission. Trust me, I know because I've done a couple of real estate transactions in my life and I know that paying that money is not the greatest thing to do. But sometimes it's necessary, especially as myself as a business. I'm looking at the long-term picture. I want to get in and get out real quick. I want to get into the property, fix it up, and sell it as fast as possible. And if that means I got to spend a couple of extra bucks up front, that will benefit me to have, rather than having to spend more money in the long run. And that's the trap that I want to explain to you now. So the worst thing that you can do as a, as a for sale by owner is the worst thing that you can do in any real estate, the kiss of death in selling real estate is having your property listed on one of these websites like Zillow or Realtor, and it says that that days on market ticker, you see that there, how many days it's been on market or how many days it's been listed on Zillow or Realtor. When that gets past 30 days, your listing or your advertisement to sell your property is now considered stale. And let me explain to you what I mean. When people are selling their homes, if even if they're just testing the market, I just want to see what my house could be worth. 
once you pass that 30 day mark, the serious buyers have already seen your property and decided they want to pass on it. So when a new buyer comes in a month later and decides that they want to purchase your property, or they see your listing on Zillow, they're going to look at that and go, wait a second, what's going on with that house? What's wrong with it? How come it's, how come someone hasn't bought it already? How come it's been 30, 40, 50, 60, 70 days on market or more? Is there something wrong with it? Is, is it overpriced? If it's not overpriced, is there some big damage that they're not showing in the pictures? Should I waste my time having to go see it? Now, what happens for you as the for sale by owner? You have this property and it could be the best property on the block. It could be the best property in your neighborhood. But now, you're, because you either overpriced it or there is something wrong with it and people have passed on it, now your listing is stale and guess what happens? The next month goes on by and now you have more utility bills. You have more holding costs. You have to pay property taxes. So here you are on day 30. Then you go to day 60. Guess what happens again? The utility bills come back again. The tax bill comes back again. There was an issue. Maybe there was a break in. Now you have to fix your windows or you have to fix your door. Then the next day goes on 90 days and so on and so on. And now because you were trying to save money on commissions, now you're spending that money every 30 days that your property sits and you're having to go out and spend that money and that money is never going to come back to you because those are called holding costs and you have to consider that. It would have been better for you to just list with a real estate agent and not have to worry about this, sell the house fast and move on. So it's very, very critical that you realize there's a trap there that you don't even understand that you're about to fall into. Now your property, unless you, unless you have one of the most pristine properties and you find an all cash buyer, but most of the time, most of the time, it's a very small amount, like I said earlier in the video, that sell their house for sale by owner. Most of the time, any buyer, it has a real estate agent that is going to be representing them. And if your real estate agent, if, you're, if that person sees your property on Zillow and they talk to their agent about it, their agent is obligated to show your property. They have to call you to set up a showing and an appointment. But if they see that, let's say, for example, you have no commission that you're giving away on the sale of the property, or let's say you say that if, you're brought, if, a, if a buyer's agent comes in and brings in a buyer, you'll give them, let's say, 2% or even less. That agent may look at your property and say, you know what, this is not worth it for me to have to go through this whole process with having to deal with this for sale by owner. And they could potentially blacklist your property and blackball you. They could tell their client, hey, you know, I saw that property and it's not that great. Or I heard that there was a big problem with that property or it's overpriced based on the comps in the area. And they can try to sway their clients and not want to go see your property because they realize that they're going to be dealing with a potential headache and a property that's really not going to be worth their time in terms of revenue. Because let's face it, guys, real estate agents get paid on commissions, right? And if they see that you're not giving out a bunch of commission when the average commission is 3% that they split with another agent or the average commission is 6% that they make on a listing, if, if they're not going to get that, if they're getting below that, they're going to want to maybe skip your house. And so that's something that you have to realize is a trap that you're falling into because you're trying to save money on commissions and put money back into your pocket. You're missing out on the, the things that real estate gives you the most benefits of. You're missing out on listing your house on the MLS. You're not realizing the long road, the big picture where you're going to be sitting days on market and you're going to fall into this trap. You don't realize that real estate agents are going to look at your property and want to to have their clients go see the next property or even if their client demands no I want to see this house by law they're obligated to set it up set up the showing call you and set up that that appointment by law they have to show your house but they can easily they can easily tell their client whatever they want to tell them they can show your property and they can try to get them in and get them out real fast they can just say whatever negative things that they want to talk about your house and real estate agents are really really good about finding what the negatives are about your home. They'll point out all the little details on why your property is not the, the best considered, considering the rest of the comps in the area. So you want to be very, very careful to not fall into this for sale by owner trap. It's very tough. It's very hard to sell your house. If you've never done it before 
and you see those contracts that come in and all those documents that you have to sign and all those disclosures that you have to read through and sign because if you don't if you don't disclose stuff that you know about the house you're potentially liable and once you sign that document you're in a legally binding contract let me say that again once you sign that document you are in a legally binding contract and if you change your mind during the terms of that contract especially if you're getting far down the road and almost to closing and you decide I don't want to do this anymore the other party can sue you for what's called specific performance and basically have a court mandate that you sell the property to this person and force you to sell it to them through through litigation and so you don't want to go through all of that you don't have an agent on your side if you don't have someone that's there helping you it could be a very, very scary, scary and tough process. And all because you're trying to save money. And at the end of the day, you didn't save money. You ended up spending more money. That's the trap. So be very, very careful. If the MLS, if the majority of sales are going through the MLS and you really want to sell your property, why don't you just put it onto the MLS? I mean, it's very, very simple, right? If you want to sell something, you want maximum exposure. The MLS in real estate gives you maximum exposure. Don't fall into this real estate trap. It's very, it's, I see it all the time with for sale by owners. Here's what happens now. You now get to day 90 or day 120, let's say, or day whatever, past 30 days, and now you're spending all this money on holding costs. And now you get to that point Here's the trap, how it gets you. Now, when you were back here, you were just testing the market. You just wanted to see what you can get. But now we go down three, four months, five months down the road. Now you become desperate to sell your house. Because now that new job is saying, hey, you better hurry up and get your butt down here. Hey, you know what? You can't continue to pay this mortgage payment every month now because you already purchased your new house you've already moved out now the house is sitting empty you're paying two mortgages you're paying two water bills two electric bills you can't do it anymore now you're desperate you have to drop the price to get more people interested in your house when all you had to do was hire a real estate agent and get it on the MLS or get some sort of access to the MLS somehow some way your house needs to be have maximum exposure in order to get it sold. But if you fell into that trap, and I see it all the time, I see for sale by owner signs as I drive through my neighborhood constantly, and I keep track of those, and I wanna see. And like I said, the majority of sales, they just don't get to the finish line. Or they end up realizing, hey, you know what? This is a bad strategy. I'm gonna have to now bring in an agent to try to sell this thing. So there's a lot of times you'll see a sign go up for sale by owner and then a couple of months or a couple of weeks later, you see the same address now with a Keller Williams sign or whatever real estate agency sign because they just had to give up and they had to close shop. They realized, hey, I couldn't do it this way. So please, please guys, I know you want to keep that, com that commission money in your pocket. I know that your property is the best property in the whole world. I know. I know I've heard it. Your pro you just got to see my property. I'm sure your property is gold-plated, pristine, beautiful, smells like flowers when I walk in, and I just want to buy it because I can picture myself living in there. But I'm going to guarantee you one thing. If you do not take these necessary steps to sell your property, chances are extremely high, not just like a little bit, not just like, the, yeah, there's a good chance. No, the, it's, it's a great chance you're probably not going to be able to sell your house all the way to the end, no matter how beautiful your house is. So please take that into consideration. Please understand, I'm not trying to push you towards a real estate agent. I am not a real estate agent at all. Okay, and I understand I, it hurts me when I have to pay that commission to my agent. Trust me, I know. Okay, but it's, it saves you money in the long run especially if you're just trying to get in and get out, or even if you've been living there for the last 20, 30 years, but now it's time for you to move on to the next property, you do not want to be sitting with that property for too much longer because you're going to take a big hit at the very end. So please, hopefully, hopefully this video helped you out. I'm hoping to God that you change your strategy. For sale by owners is not the way to go. I'm just letting you know that right now. Please, please call a real estate professional 
please call an agent. And if you don't want to sell to an agent, then I'm your next option, a real estate investor. So you can give me a call, especially if you're in my area. You can visit our website at webuyhousesseminal.org. That's webuyhousesseminal.org. It's on the bottom of your screen right now. The number's 407-796-8557. Call that number. Someone from my office will pick up. They'll help you answer a couple of questions that I need to know specifically if I'm going to work with you. And maybe I can look at that property and say, hey, I can give you a fast cash offer, buy this house all cash, take all the headache off of you, and maybe I can do something with it myself. So please, if either call an agent, and if an agent is not going to work for you because you don't want to pay the commissions, call this guy right here. Or call a real estate investor local in your area. Just do not try to sell it by yourself for sale by owner. So hopefully this video helped you out, guys. I look forward to seeing you guys in the real estate market. Take care.